Hey guys, it's Ruffian220, and I have a little different video for you today, um, and I'm going to be doing a little weathering update. Um, I haven't done that yet, I've just done layout updates, um, but I just wanted to see how this would work out. Uh, you can tell me if you if you like it or whatever. Um, I just thought I'd test out this format, I guess, I don't know what to call it. Um, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of work I've been doing um, that I think looks pretty cool. and. Uh, this will probably make its way into a layout update too. I will have more on the layout extension, and I'll have some new power soon. I just wanted to show you this stuff individually, make a quick video, because um, I can, and I'm bored. Uh, so I'll make a video. Um, so you've seen already that I've been doing some airbrushing, and I have powders and stuff. Uh, but kind of like the third, not third, but one of the other methods that I haven't had are oil paints. So... Other than oil paints, I've pretty much been able to do everything else. I also picked up some cosmetic applicators, so I can also do uh, acrylic paints with those. But I'm, I'm using this for oil paints, too, which I'll explain in a second. Um, but I went ahead and went to the local art shop and picked up some oil paints. So you can see I have burnt umber and burnt sienna. And then I also got a little palette, and I mixed up some paint. I also picked up terpenoid, and this is an important part if you want to make a wash, um, because what you can do is thin down the oil paint with this, and it creates a nice little wash, as you can see, by this bulkhead flat car. Um, so what I did was I just dabbed some of the uh, um, paint with this really tiny brush. Um, it's hard to see. There we go. Took some and then dabbed uh, in between each post or, or section. Dab a little here, dab a little there, and went all the way along the car, dabbed one on each end. And then with the turpenoid to create a wash, I took this half inch wide brush, dipped it in the turpenoid, and then came over here and just streaked it across the car a few times, and it created this nice wash and this pretty cool effect. And I also scratched up the, um, the, uh, the bed there, if you can see it. Um, and then for the ends, sorry about that, I actually completely rusted the ends uh, which is hard to see. It's hard to see the color from this camera and it won't focus for me but there you can see it um, and it gives a nice effect. It gives it texture as you can see. Here's the other end. But what I was going for, the kind of look I was going for um, was based off this flat car I saw. And you can see some rust spots there. Um, but this flat car here you can see the ends completely rusted. So that's pretty cool. I kind of took inspiration from that. Um, and then this Sioux Line box car. You can see one side that I'm working on. I'm working from panel to panel, working my way this way. Um, but you can see I already applied the wash to this. And what I did was, on each panel, applied a glob of, um, I think, burnt umber um, at the top. Then again, with turpenoid and this half-inch brush, I pulled it down the car side to create a nice uh, wash. Um, and it looks pretty cool, just general grime, and it's streaked. Um, so the other side is actually done as you can see here. Um, and it's pretty cool. Um, really roughed up, really rusty in spots. And I actually looked at a prototype car to do this. Um, and you can see here's an example of one, how rusty they are. And I went for a little less rust on the the car. I have uh, some bigger splotches. This is a lot of uh, tiny little um, scratches and things. And that's what I'm doing more over here. You can see the scrapes and stuff. Um, but this, I had a larger little gathering of rust there, and when you get back, it looks really nice. Um, and the car I looked at also had this little, uh, actually pretty big rust spot focus up in that corner by the door, and then I streaked that down the car side. So it looks pretty cool right now. Um, I'm going to keep working, but I thought I'd just make this little update just to show you what I've been doing. And it's possible I'll do a how-to, so if you want a how-to um, on how to do this, um, please comment and tell me, because uh, it's really simple, and all the materials probably cost me like, uh, I don't know, 10 bucks or less, so it's really easy, um, and it gives you really cool results. You can do some cool rust effects. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. I'll have more uh, extension updates, layout updates um, with the river, and then I should get some new power soon.